when you see something very greatly beautiful, like a mountain full of snow against the blue sky, what actually takes place? When you see something extraordinarily alive, beautiful, great majesty, For a moment, for a second, the very majesty of that mountain, the immensity of it, drives away, puts all the self-concern, all the problems. At that second there is no me watching it. The very greatness of that mountain has driven away for the second all my self-concern. Surely one must have noticed this thing. And then you say, how extraordinarily beautiful it is. There, the majesty of that mountain with that snow and the beautiful line against the blue sky. That very majesty puts aside for a second the me. Have you noticed a child with a toy? He's been naughty all day long which is right, and you give him a toy, and for the next hour or two he breaks it up, he's extraordinarily quiet, which is, the toy has absorbed his naughtiness, the toy has taken him over what? Similarly, when we see something extraordinarily beautiful, that very beauty absorbs us. That is, there is beauty when there is no self. You understand? When there is no self interest all the travail of the Self, without being absorbed or shaken by something strongly beautiful like a mountain or the valley in a deep shadow, without being taken over by the mountain, is it possible To understand beauty without the Self. Because where there is Self there is no beauty, where there is self-interest there is no love, and love and beauty go together, they are not separate. 